Okay, good morning, foodies. Um, hope you're having a great day. It's a little rainy here uh, where I'm at in my little tiny kitchen. And today we are talking about um, healthy eating strategies. It's already the 18th of the month, so maybe some of your New Year's resolutions have gone by the wayside or you're just kind of in your second wind, like needing some more inspiration. So hopefully that's what this is for you today. Um, one great strategy if you're trying to eat healthier and um, maybe if you're trying to lose a couple pounds is, uh, is meal prep and uh, packing a healthy lunch. And you can do this with your kids. Uh, you can do this for yourself. But um, what I'm specifically going to talk about today is the art of bento making. And bento making is something that is really popular in Japan um, with school-age kids and uh but Japan really does it in a specific, unique way that isn't really um, conducive to an American lifestyle um, and is really different from an American diet. So um, what I want to give you today is some tips and tricks on how to adapt that to your own lifestyle. And it really only takes a couple more minutes in the morning than putting a, a sandwich in a plastic bag and then throwing some cookies in another bag and going out the door. Um, once you have the right tools and equipment, it's really easy and it's really, really cost effective because you're really just using little bits and pieces of what you have in your refrigerator. So um, this is a typical bento box. So it has two main parts a lid for the smaller section, a lid for the top, and then another lid for that goes over the top. Um, so I will put on my blog on Foodie Fridays, so uh, foodiesproject.com, Foodie Fridays, I will put uh, demonstrations of bento boxes that I've made in the past. But um, so usually the big portion is for your main dish. And then the other portion, there's like a little schmutz on there. The other portion is uh, for like vegetables or chips or or whatever. So, um, and to get started with bento, you just need a few things. So a bento box, this is like $2 at a Japanese store. I will also put links on the blog to places you can order them. Um, little cupcake, uh, cupcake liners. These are actually specially made ones that have plastic, so if you put like yogurt or something in here, it's not going to leak all over your box. And then uh, cookie cutters, so I have a heart, and these ones fit, you can see, these kind of fit like right in there. So if you have a sandwich, you can kind of squish it down into the box. Um, this was my son's favorite when he was little, it's a little choo-choo train, and that one fits. I can usually get two sandwiches in there. Um, and then I have a star. These are also great too. These are fondant cover, uh, cutters, and you can find them in Michael's or your craft store, wherever they have the cake decorating supplies. Um, usually the Japanese stores will, will have different cutters, but they're plastic, so they don't get through a lot of maybe some of the harder stuff like cucumbers or carrots. So these little fondant cover, uh, cutters, sorry, can't talk today, are great. Um, another thing is toothpicks. So you can make little skewers of things. Uh, if you don't have a bento box, then just a regular plastic Tupperware is great too. And then I also found these ones, so they're already divided. So you can have a sandwich and maybe like your, um, your little side dish and then maybe like ranch dressing or um, yogurt or whatever. So um, all great things. <laughs> so in Japan, the, um, the ratio for a bento is usually like a third rice, a third protein, and then um, a third vegetables. But um, you don't have to be that specific about it. So you'll see in the examples on the blog, which I hope, I'm sorry I don't have any examples for you today, but you can put like little bits of um, grapes in here. You can put a little liner full of yogurt on the other side, and then you can have a little um, 
you know, maybe you have a couple spinach leaves left over from something. You can just pack some spinach in there. And then the sandwiches, you know, you can put in here. Um, usually sandwiches leave a little room. So if you have like crackers or something, I'll line the bottom with the crackers and then put the sandwiches on top. Um, and then with this part, so I'll show you what it looks like all together. So once you pack the bottom, oops, that's the bottom. And then you pack the top and you put this one on. So typically you can buy little um, utensils that go in the top of your bento, but I like this part for your sweet treat. So there's only gonna be room for like um, a portion of almonds in here, um, maybe like three cookies. So you're not like putting, you're not overeating by putting whatever is your like treat in a plastic bag. Um, so that's what I like to use that for. And then I'll pack my stuff separately. And then you have a little rubber band. I recommend having a little rubber band or like even a clean hair tie, like a brand new hair tie or something. Um, even for your Ziploc bags or for your Ziploc um, containers. So you put that there, it holds it together, keeps it from leaking. And then you wrap it in a towel or um, or this is a handkerchief. I think they're like a dollar or something. Um, so you wrap it up. This foodie Friday is getting really long. And then you can put your silverware in there. But then you have a nice little package. And what I like about this is that it's small. Um, if you dump all the food that you put in here out onto a plate, it's a full plate of food. So you can put this easily in your backpack. This is way more efficient than a big, bulky, insulated um, lunch box that you would have to carry around extra. This can go in your purse, this can go in your backpack. It's super tiny. Um, but the other thing too is like if you're out somewhere and maybe you're outside and it's a little bit, you know, you're sitting at a picnic table and there might be some bird stuff on it. You can put this down as like a nice little a tablecloth where you're sitting um, and maybe use the corner of it for a napkin but other than that you can use it for a napkin as well um, and then I have like these little containers that fit either on top or inside for sauces on the side or maybe little bits of um, mustard or, or ranch or, or what have you um, or it has like I said a, a serving of almonds or nuts in there um, so I think that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions about Bento, you can go ahead and uh, leave a comment, email me, Twitter, Facebook, however you want to do that. And um, I will put up examples and then other links to other resources. So if Bento making is something that you feel like you want to do for yourself and your kids, um, you can explore that a little bit further. So um, have a delicious week, and I will see you next Friday for turning your... Uh, junk food cravings into health food cravings. All right. Have a delicious week. Thanks for joining me.